hey crafty friends, Diane with Bean Street Paper. And today I'm gonna show you a little tip to using those floral papers that you think are ugly. Now, I don't necessarily think this floral paper is ugly, but I just can't see myself using it for anything else. So, I did have a bunch of you ask me to do some sympathy cards, so this is another uh, good use for those floral papers. I have here a card base, which is my standard A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have a piece of crushed curry cardstock. Any cardstock that matches your paper will be fine. Um, and I cut that an eighth of an inch smaller. So it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Now, I had a 12 by 12 sheet of this paper. Um, as you can see that my cardstock matches one of these little yellow flowers. Um, and I, I cut it in strips that's a little bit larger than my card base so that I can just trim around the sides. So this is four and a quarter. Um, and what I'm gonna do, you guys, this is so easy. You're gonna love this. Let me find my scissors. I'm gonna use my mid scissors. Um, I'm going to kind of, first thing you wanna do is stamp your sentiment so you know what you're working with. You can stamp it in the center if you wanna try to cut around that. I like to stamp mine to the side um, and then I embossed it and I use this, uh, my thoughts are with you stamp. I need to make some sympathy cards for the coffee shop. So I thought I would do that. And I just stamped it and heat embossed it in white. Um, and I did that off camera so you guys wouldn't have to listen. But what I wanna do is take my quote unquote ugly floral paper and kind of figure out, um, I want these yellow flowers on there obviously because of the yellow cardstock, but I don't necessarily want them to be on the yellow cardstock, like touching the yellow cardstock. Okay, so let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take this flower and just kind of cut around it. It's fussy cutting a little bit, but it's gonna be so worth it. It doesn't have to be super close. Uh, and then I'm gonna kinda do this so that I can, okay. And then I'm just gonna go back in and kinda cut around my white flower here because I want that yellow flower, but I don't necessarily want it, like I said, to touch the cardstock. I want that little green leaf. And you can decide what you want to be on your card and what you don't want to be on your card. So you could have cut that little green leaf off, you know? I mean, it's really just up to you. Again, I'm not cutting super close. It's not super perfect. It doesn't have to be. Okay, then I'm gonna go probably not too far back, but I want this big pink rose. And in this case, I'm going to cut off that green flower or the green leaf. I apologize if you guys can hear that racket. Uh, I, my she sheds right next door to our chicken brooder where the baby chicks are. And we have some guineas in there. Apparently they don't want to go outside in the rain. The door's open, but they don't want to go outside in the rain. It's raining. Uh, so they are displeased and they are making quite a racket over there. All right, so you see I have, I think I'm going to go this way. Look at that. Nope, this way. Nope. Hmm. And sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you wanted it to. Maybe, maybe we can do Let's try this. I know I said I didn't want this yellow flower. We're gonna adjust here. I didn't want this yellow flower to touch the yellow paper, but um, maybe I'm gonna change my mind. 
That didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to in my head. I should have, I should not have stamped the sentiment first, but I, if I was doing it for myself and not doing it on video, I would not have stamped the um, sentiment first. But I did that because I didn't want you guys to have to listen to the heat tool. Of course, you get to listen to guineas instead, but um, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's try this. All right, don't ever throw scraps away because you just never know. Look at that. That'll be great, right? So what I'm gonna do is take my, I'm gonna use this, I think my ATG. Wet glue would be easier, but I don't know. <laughs> I will probably end up using some wet glue at this point. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of place it. I don't want it to cover my sentiment, but I want it to be pretty close. Okay. So now I have the top of my And I did a pretty good job. I got pretty close. Okay. Now I want to do the bottom. And maybe a piece that I already have. Um, I'm going to try this. Let's see. Um... Uh, so when you're fussy cutting, just a little tip for you is to turn the paper, not your scissors. Makes it so much easier. So much easier. Okay. All right, I'm gonna cut that little rose out there. Because I want it to kind of, look at that. Scooch it over just a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna, glue that guy on. Okay. Now I'm going to take my super big scissors. Sorry, I knocked, I knocked the camera there. I'm turn this guy over and trim around the sides. my card. And take my ATG. Okay. Oop, there's a little piece of scrap. Okay. Then I'm gonna put this guy on my card base. All right. Um, now, you can embellish with rhinestones or sequins or little, um, what is that stuff called? Liquid pearls. But this is also great to use up 
I'm going to show you, like I have this paper, I would just cut this, um, and with this one, I could even do the card this way, um, and use those for that. Or I have this pulled out that I can do, um, it's got corner designs that I could use to, um, to use for a card, same, same kind of concept. So don't get frustrated when you have a bunch of paper packs and they have like the corner designs or the bottom designs or whatever. So I'm going to go embellish my card, but it's pretty much done. Um, I don't want to embellish it too much. Maybe some pearls or something. Uh, and I hope this gives you guys some ideas to go forth and be crafty. Until next time, have a great day.